This one isn't even close at all. I got Michelle Obama. I'm keeping this one. I wanted Michelle Obama. <gasps> the Gradient app. I first saw this from Kylie Jenner, and then it was like, you look like Kendall Jenner. And I was like, what is this? This is just an ad promo that she's doing. And then a bunch of people starting started to do it. <laughs> I literally just did this like yesterday too. That's hilarious. I've used this and I yes, I've got Mark Zuckerberg. My friend did it for me and it said I look like Shawn Mendes. So I really appreciate that. I think it's kind of accurate, which is kind of scary. Like even you can get like different genders, which I find like really interesting. And I don't even know what the app is called, but all of my friends have been using it. I feel like if you gave me like a page of celebrities, I can do better than the app could. Throw the whole app away. He got Queen Margaret II. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, the only thing close is barely the smile, but it's not even close. The yeah, actor, look at that one. Look how he just morphs right into her. Like, I see no difference. Same energy. I'm happy they have that um, the two pictures in the middle because you can kind of see it, I guess. But even if you morph like any type of picture, you can still see it. I put my granny through the gradient app. She looks like Post Malone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's my favorite one. That's my favorite one. What the heck? Post Malone? I feel bad for his grandma. No offense to Post Malone, but like, what the heck? They did do a good job of like, turning her into a guy with a barbed wire on his forehead. Pretty cool, they made her wrinkles like the tattoos. <laughs> they put the wrinkles as if they're the tattoos. I find that kind of mean. It's one of those dumb apps you see on like Snapchat, like, Oh, which character are you? But there's only five choices. Same concept, where they'll just throw in a celebrity and make you feel good. Yeah, what even? <laughs> Honestly, how do you even? Look at Will Smith with some with some eyelash extensions. <laughs> that's kombucha girl. Yep, that's what I thought. You look like Will Smith. Okay, this one isn't even close at all. Maybe she refreshed it a couple times. I guess after you refresh it a lot more, then the results get a little iffy. Hold on, pause. She has a full head of hair. I'm just trying to like examine. The third one is always a stretch. I'm telling you, just out of nowhere, bam. The lips and the eyes are pretty much the only thing that, that kind of go together. His eyelashes are popping, her eyelashes are popping. She has big lips, he has big lips. I can see it. I can look nothing like you, but the way they morph your face into it, you're like, is that me? Do I look like that? You have to look in the mirror and make sure and stuff. I think it's like taking just small elements of each uh, person and seeing what links up and then they're automatically putting it together. Like even if their features don't match. Wait, Kylie Jen, wait. <laughs> so they said they look like your sister? Yeah, that one matches because they're related. I think they somewhat look like each other. I think it's in the eyes. <laughs> they're probably like, hey, look, it works so well. Like, look, they're sisters. Like, it has to work with you. This is what I saw. This is where I first saw it and I was like, Oh, she's just doing another one of her promos, whatever. And then everyone started doing it. Oh yeah, it says hashtag ad. So they probably sponsored her. I've only seen like my friends do it and I haven't seen like celebrities like do it online, but I feel like just celebrity influence itself are definitely going to have like general like audience. People will be like, hey, I wanna check that out. <laughs> I hate this app. You look like Jesus. <laughs> I'd be so happy. I'd be like, I am Jesus, bitch. <laughs> what an honor. Like, imagine, like, how much, like, self-esteem boost you get when you find out you look like Jesus. Like, wow. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> That's mean. That's not fair. That's pretty cool. I would I would definitely go crazy for that. I think she does look kind of like Jesus if you really try your hardest to, like, mix the faces together. Yeah. I mean, the curly hair, I guess, and the lips going, like, close together. I feel like the app itself is a troll. Jesus? I feel like there are people who get the photo, like, okay, let's make this a joke. Cause this isn't even facial structure, nothing. I feel like the app, when they have no idea who the person looks like, they're like, okay, let's just troll them. You look like Jesus. Can't wait for a few days for now f when everyone starts panicking again about how the government is using the Gradient app to update their face recognition data. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> That's true. I downloaded the one that makes you look like an old person, and there was a bunch of like stories on how the government or something of in Russia or something is spying on us, and I was like, delete. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get all like serious about it, but like, an emoji, all that stuff is like, I mean, 
I wouldn't be surprised. It makes the most sense. Guys, it's already too late. There, everyone already, you're already in the database. You're already in the system. You're gonna get recognized in the system. That's kind of how it works. My images are already out onto the internet, so I'm not gonna worry too much. But you should definitely be cautious when approaching these types of things. Anyway. Thinking about all the ugly people the gradient app said I look like. Oh my god. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Oh, this cat's in his feels. <laughs> so that was kind of, yeah, that cat's having a moment, man. That was crazy. This was my mom. My mom probably sat in bed and was like, do I really look like Lil Xan? Nobody, the gradient. No. You oh. look like a clown. <laughs> no. Peppa is too much as is. You look like a clown. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Like a clown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peppa Pig is undefeated, man. Peppa Pig is a god. No, I don't agree with this one at all. <laughs> That's really mean. Like some people hate on it, some people agree with it, but the people that do hate on it, I always see people saying like, "Oh, like you look like a clown. You look like this." I hear a lot of clown comments, so like hearing that, that. I think it's accurate. It's so boring. Why are we everyone hooked up on a trend so easily? It's like, come on. I love this app. Everyone's like memeing it. It's sad, but it's funny. <laughs> so those were all examples and memes of people using the Gradient Photo Editor app. The app offers a few different features, but the celebrity doppelganger feature has exploded in popularity over the last few days, mm -hmm. with many users sharing their celebrity lookalikes. So now that you have seen people using the app, we actually want you to try out the app yourself. Oh well. God, okay. <laughs> if it matches the celebrities that I got last time. I'm hoping Morgan Freeman, that's who I really want. I really want Morgan Freeman. Sophie time. Cheese. It's loading. What? Fernanda Souza? I don't even know who that is. Uh-uh. I look like some guy named Edgar Creed. Honestly, I have no idea who that is. He is a Russian rapper and singer-songwriter. <laughs> I'm a Russian rapper for sure. I I'm I'm down with that, Loki. I'm down with that. I look like this girl named Meg Rye. Ryan. Meg Ryan. <laughs> Who's that again? She's a famous actress. She was in When Harry Met Sally. No idea who that is. You know what? It's the long hair. I'm just gonna say it's the long hair. It says I look like Meg Ryan. Okay, I do not see that. Literally entirely different hair color. Same eye color though, so I mean, that's something. We have Rachel McAdams. Do I look like her? I don't think so at all. Will Smith, ooh, that's a good one. That's pretty accurate, you know? Like, when I was a little kid, or growing up, I was always compared to Jaden, so, you know, I'll, I'll take that. There we go, we got Kobe Bryant. Let's go, there it is. Hey, that's a win. That's a win in my book. You can do it again and see who else you get. This is I got Michelle Obama. I'm keeping this one. I wanted Michelle Obama. <gasps> Michelle! I like it. I like it. I'm more amused. So this is not the first time that a face changing app has trended across social media platforms. So earlier this year, Face App, which allows users to see what they might look like when they get older, similarly went viral but later came under scrutiny when people discovered that the photos uploaded to that app could be freely used for other purposes without getting consent from the original uploader and there were potential connections to Russia. Oh shoot, I didn't even know that. So knowing that there could be privacy concerns, why do you think that people still flock to these type of apps? I think enough people don't care. It's, it's too much, it's above our heads for us to care. I feel like they want to act like they care, but I don't think they actually care. I don't think it's actually going to change any aspect of their lives. Everybody's doing it, and it's like, if everyone's doing it, you have that instinct, and you're like, oh, I kind of want to see who my celebrity is, or what I look like when I'm old. You're like, do I do it? And then you just end up doing it, and then now your face is somewhere on this cloud of information. <laughs> I think teens just like, they don't really mind putting themselves out there no matter what it is. I don't think they think about the safety concerns in the future. It's entertaining and like we love entertainment in America. So I mean, 
we're gonna do what we gotta do. Like mentioned earlier, the look alike feature is just a part of the broader suite of tools in this photo editor app. So the app comes with a short three day trial, but once the three days are up, you have to choose between a $4.99 weekly option uh. or a $19.99 monthly subscription. So do you or do you know any peers that pay for apps like these? Um, I don't. I don't know anyone. I don't pay for them. I, I, I'm kind of cheap and just do all the free stuff. That's freaking expensive. Just to see what you look like as a celebrity. Yeah, I used it like twice and then I would use it on my mom and my stepdad and I was over it. <laughs> I honestly don't pay for apps. Sometimes I download apps just to have their one week free trial and then I delete them. They're so expensive, but people, stupid kids with their parents' credit cards, it's so easy. You just need a fingerprint and boom, you paid for it. And the people that make these apps know that. They know they're gonna make bank off it because some kid's gonna forget that he paid for the three day trial. There's way better photo things out there that cost more and do way better things than this one does. No offense to Gradient, you know, but come on guys. There's other <laughs> options that I could choose on the app store that might do something similar. Um, or the same uh, features for like free or a cheaper price. So I don't think I would hop on the app at all. So some report that the app seems to have blown up after prominent influencers like the Kardashian family were posting their own gradient results with the hashtag ad accompanying them. So do you think that this app would have gone viral without these celebrity endorsements? Honestly, I'm gonna say no because People like to hop on waves a lot. Usually people tend to hop on waves when celebrities start the trend or the start the wave or whatever. People like their fans or whatever usually start to do it and it just blows up in general. Probably not, just because people were probably sketched out about the face app thing. And then when they get backed from celebrities like, oh yeah, it's fine, we're using it, it's fine. Then they're, they're more likely to do it. I feel like just the celebrity influence helped it, but I feel like an app like that, it would have been like inevitable for them to blow up. It just maybe would have taken longer. So finally, do you think that this is the last time we will see a face changing app that will go viral? Or do you think that we will repeat history? I definitely think there will be more face changing apps that go viral. People love that type of stuff. I mean, they're really fun. So I definitely think there will be more. Of course, we'll, we'll repeat it, of course. Maybe not as soon as it was this time, but it'll happen. And then we'll tell people like, oh, I remember a couple years ago, this app was out. They're gonna add more to it. They're gonna find a way to like make us look like animals next or something. You know, there's always gonna be a new wave with this thing. Just like how with the, like, the old people thing, it's gonna be like this and it's gonna just continue on and keep evolving. I think there will be more, yeah, definitely. Cause like people thought the same thing about the face app from before with the, with the Russia and all that, the, the drama. But now we have another app and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have another one in a couple months that's gonna be blowing up and celebrities will be using it. And I'll probably be sitting back here again talking about that app. Thanks for watching this episode of Team to React. Shout out to Juliet Ronald. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an episode. Bye guys. Hey guys, we're Team here, producer at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Teens React. Make sure to hit that bell and subscribe for more episodes you love. And remember, we're in the comments in the first 30 minutes, so see you there. Bye guys.